Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps lots. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Friday, April 29th. We're going to take a look at SHIB today. So Shiba Inu coin uh, has a short but storied history for sure. Uh, it's been a wild ride, but we're stuck for a while now in this consolidation level. I mean, you could draw it back basically to the beginning-ish of the year if you want to draw on these levels here or an even more compressed range if you just take it from, say, February, late February to today. So what I wanted to look at is basically uh, any trend lines that we can look to hold or to break for the bulls or the bears, and then also any support and resistance levels that we can note on the chart that might come into play um, to be able to see if it's you know rejecting off resistance or if it's holding support or establishing support, that sort of thing. Um, all right, so let's dig in and start off with the resistance level. So or I guess I should say trend level, but it just happens to be because it's in a downtrend here, obviously, a resistance level. So the resistance level, as I see it, uh, comes in about like, like so. We could make this probably a little bit more conservative, make the price action do a little bit more work before we believe that it could be breaking downtrend resistance. Um, so this is what I'd look for to either move sideways and consolidate through or come upward and break. Now, it's not enough for it to consolidate through or to move up and break, just to be clear. Uh, a break of a downtrend resistance does not mean that it's gonna break out or that the downtrend is over. Uh, you then have, that's only half, half the work is that it breaks the downtrend resistance, but the other half is what it does after that happens because there are plenty of uh, instances that you can find where something consolidates out of downtrend resistance or breaks downtrend resistance by moving up and then just comes back down and starts following it back down. Maybe it doesn't come back down below it. Maybe it stays outside of it, but it's still like net does the same thing, right? It still is, is in a bearish motion. So just keep that in mind. Now, putting in some support and resistance levels. Now, the nice thing here about this retracement is that it gives us a bunch of levels that we can look at that previously have been established for support and resistance um, that will probably play a factor in recent or upcoming price action. So I'm not going to do all the leading zeros. I'm just going to say the numbers that, that do appear that <laughs> without the leading zero. So 2034 would be a key support level that I'd look at. Um, another one that looks like it's definitely in play is right around here at 2560. Now what I'm looking for here are levels that capture a lot of support um, toward the bottom. And then these mid-range levels or these upper levels, I'm looking for ranges or levels that captured both support and resistance, right? So resistance several times through here, support all through here, you know, support through here. So those to me are the key, key levels to pay attention to. I'll put one level up from there. Um, I would probably place it right around here. 2918, maybe just shy of that 3000 level um, would be sort of the, the added psychological components, if you will. Um, now, could put one additional level in here um, probably where this pure resistance is. Uh, let me see how that draws back. Let's see if there's a better level to try to snag. Yeah, I would say this one right here. Oops. Because we can at least draw in this recent attempt at support from these candles. And, um, you know, the levels that you see here that are catching or approaching resistance. Okay, so if we zoom back in. This is, uh, these are the key levels as I see it. This downtrend resistance is the key trend to break. If it comes down and needs support below where it is right now, 2034 is the level that I'd be looking to hold. Um, I didn't realize that I put in additional levels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in an additional closer in level right here. Um, Cause you see 
this resistance that then turned to support here um, and was also a sort of a chopping ground in, during these days. Um, so <laughs> nearest support as I see it, 2197. If it can't hold that, I would look for it to move toward 2034 and see what it does at that level. Uh, the resistance level that it needs to break if it wants any upward motion, 2341, could unlock a run at 2519. And if that breaks, it could unlock a run at 2918, which might more realistically speaking act as that psychological 3000 level. Um, but these are, yeah, the key levels as I see it. And uh, it certainly could continue to consolidate, chop around between 2341 and 2197. If it does that, it'll be interesting to see what it does as it approaches or starts to run into this downtrend resistance. Does it consolidate through? Does it break down? Does it break up? Um, that's why I say, you know, just knowing the levels and seeing what it does at the levels, uh, that's half the work. You need to then see what it does after. It, it does whatever it does at those levels, if that makes sense. All right, folks, I hope that you have a good weekend ahead. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.